I'm not punishing you. What do you put? No, you just don't want me going with you? It's not that. Look, I'm not staying either. I'm just dropping her off, and then I'm going to go see Meg at Deerbrook. Oh, it's just great. Can you not understand that it hurts me that you're on her side and not mine? Even though she's the one who took your daughter in the middle of the storm without well, so much... Well, maybe she wouldn't have had to do that to if you hadn't warm? called the cops. I didn't call the cops. How many times do I have to tell you that? Why can't you believe me? Well, I'm trying to. Well, try harder. <clears throat> now, if you could just... If you could just listen to me. I think I might know who, who double-crossed you. If you could just listen to what Look, I, I have to I don't mean to, to cut you off. It's important, Paul. Well, that's fine, but, uh... I don't really have the time. Okay, well, it's five minutes of your time. I have to get to Meg before visiting hours are over. We'll talk about this later. Hey, I made you a card. <gasps> oh, it's beautiful. Yeah. Eliza sent them out, huh? <laughs> she needs a bigger canvas, though, the kitchen table. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she gets that from me. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you so much, Paul. You seem okay. You know, for being locked up and all. No, I won't be for long. And why is that? Because I'm taking your advice. I'm doing exactly what the doctors tell me to do, and they're eating it up. They think they're geniuses. But I'm a testament to the power of the mood-altering pharmaceuticals. I thought you weren't going to take them. I'm not. I'm fine. I don't need them. I'm doing exactly what you said. I'm playing the game. And before you know it, I'll be out of here, and Damien will be hiding under his bed. What does that mean? I invited him here today with my doctor's blessing to ask for his forgiveness. But you didn't do anything wrong. Well, I have to do something to entertain myself. <laughs> you can only knit so many scarves. So what happened? <laughs> well, I was very apologetic. And then when Dr. Wilson was paged, he felt very comfortable leaving us alone. And that's when the fun began. What do you mean? I went medieval on him. <laughs> Uh, oh, good for you. <laughs> yeah. Damien is going to pay for what he did to me with his life. You can't go around <laughs> killing people, not, not <sighs> even Damien Grimaldi. Yeah, well, the world would be a lot better off. Well, I him. totally agree, but you're Eliza's mom. She needs you. You do something to Damien, you're going to wind up in here for the rest of your life. You don't want that trust. Look, I know what I'm doing. It'll be okay, I promise. Can you promise me this? Can you promise me that you won't do anything to Damien without talking to me first? Can you promise me that, please? For Eliza's sake. All right. You know, you've been so good to me ever since this whole thing started. Don't be sorry. I broke it. I'm the one who broke it. I'm the one who should fix it. I can fix it. Well, then do it. One of us should be happy. Remember, you promised me you wouldn't do anything to Damien without talking to me first. Remember that. 